What's up guys? This is Interactive ATV Trails here with another review within the Arapin OHV system. Uh, this time I just finished up trail 37 um, and I had quite the adventure and usually when I tell people I had an adventure it means I got lost and that's exactly what happened. I got lost. Um, I made the cardinal mistake of not downloading my, the GPX files that I have available on the website onto my GPS unit. I thought well you know I'm really familiar with this area. This is the fifth or sixth time I've been down here this year. Um, I drew the maps, I've studied them, um, I should be able to find my way, it shouldn't be a problem. But let me tell you, Trail 37 is not clearly marked. Uh, there are, there's one turnoff that's easy to miss from the main road. If you're not slowing down, you're going to miss it. And there's no indication that it's Trail 37, there's no sign, there's nothing. So unless you are really familiar with this area or you've downloaded the GPX file from the website, um, you're going to have a hard time finding where Trail 37 is. Uh, departs from the main road. Um, so with that said, uh, Trail 37 is highly technical. It's very difficult. Um, it starts out, I started out on the south end, and uh, the south end is extremely muddy. Uh, I think it's muddy year-round. Uh, huge puddles that uh, some are not uh, avoidable. You, you're just going to have to go right through them, uh, especially if you're on a four-wheeler. There's not a lot of workarounds that people have created yet. So you're just going to have to plow through them. I almost got stuck once, uh, but was able to uh, find my, managed to you know, navigate my way out. Um, so once you get past that first part, where through all the mud and stuff, it starts to get steep and rocky. Uh, and it gets really rocky. It's one of the, more, it's one of the most rocky sections of trail that uh, I've encountered within the Arapine OHV system. Uh, so be aware of that. Um, but once, uh, you know, as I mentioned before, uh, you do lose, it's hard to find the trail again once you uh, are on the main road. I believe it's Forest Service Road 51 that you're on. Um, but once you find that and you start on Trail 37 again, it is extremely technical. It's extremely difficult. If you're not experienced, especially if you're on a dirt bike, if you're not experienced, you're going you're gonna to have a really hard time getting to the top. Um, but uh, you know, if you're, if you're experienced enough, you're going to have a great time. You know, the more challenging the ride, the better for me at least. Uh, the funner it is. Uh, I get kind of bored just riding on these really nice Forest Service roads that are maintained year-round. You know, it's just that riding isn't for me. Uh, but Trail 37 is my kind of riding. Um, not only are there large rocks, and is it, not only is it really steep, but there's also uh, a lot of tree roots that are just protruding out of the trail all over the place, which makes it really challenging, but also a lot of fun. Uh, as I was coming down uh, towards the end of the trail, there was a family on a couple of uh, four-wheelers, and um, as I passed them, the father was backing one up, and he almost tipped it backwards. That's how steep and rocky it is. Fortunately enough, he was experienced enough to put his way forward and counterbalance that so he wouldn't uh, roll over on himself. But um, and also they weren't wearing helmets. Guys, wear helmets, please. You know, don't put your life in danger. What we do out here on ATVs and motorcycles is already dangerous enough as it is. And you don't need to make it more difficult or more, more uh, dangerous by not wearing protective gear. Just wear protective gear. And by the way, I'm, I, uh, I'm really happy that I was wearing my motorcycle boots today uh, because I, I nailed a rock or a limb or a trunk of, that was coming up out of the side of the trail. And, had I not been wearing my boots that have a really hard toe, I probably would have busted two or three of my toes. I mean, I hit it pretty hard. It whacked my, it threw my shoe, my foot, all the way back off the peg. Um, so you just got to be aware of that. You know, just wear protective gear. That way it's fun. It's no fun if you get hurt. Um, but uh, if you're wanting to a challenge, definitely come out to Trail 37. It's going to test your skills. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to test your endurance, your leg strength if you're on a dirt bike. Um, it's best to stand up through the technical sections. So be aware of that as you come out. I hope, uh, I hope you found this review helpful. Anyway, this is Interactive ATV Trails. Hope you've enjoyed it.